So with our jump and skip counting worksheet that we've been doing quite regularly, we tend to focus on the ones that are easiest for us, right? Ones, twos, fives, tens, maybe elevens now. And then we go back to sixes, sevens, eights, nines, twelves. And I needed to give you guys something to make things a little bit easier. One thing that everyone, as I walk around and always watch you guys, that you definitely gravitate towards is tens. So I'm going to fill that in real quick. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and then, of course, 100. Nines, eights, sevens, they don't have to be as hard as we're making them. How far away is the number nine from being a ten? One. One. Okay, so let's use the number ten. And let's just understand that, well, if we use ten, we have to then subtract one, and that would create a nine, correct? So using this strategy, for a lot of students that really struggled, I said, just increase your number nine by ten. What's ten more than nine? Nineteen. Nineteen. So we're going to put that in the little corner here and then just write down, okay, but we got to subtract one because we know that. In order to make a nine, we got to subtract one. And then we're going to get the correct unit here, nine, 18, and we continue the process. Let's jump again from 18. Let's increase that by 10. 18. 10 more than 18 is 20. Eight. eight. But we got to take one away from it. So we're on up with 27. Do you see how that method could help? The next one we I know is 36, but wait a second. 27 and 10 is 37 minus the 1 is 36. 46 minus 1 is 45. 55 minus 1 is 54. Do you see all of a sudden how you, you start to get a lot better, a lot quicker, a lot more fluency in what you're doing? Kenny? What if you just find it easier just to do it regularly? If you, if you have that down, then I'm not going to stop you. This is, again, for students that are having a hard time getting those numbers down, that they're struggling, they're counting fingers, they're counting toes. Okay? What about 8? How do we do that? How, how can we make, using 10, what do we do to 10 to make it into an 8? Let's subtract 2. So the process is just a little bit different. I could still do 10 more than 8 is 18, but subtracting 2 gives me 16, right? I can give you guys any number, and you can add 10 to it pretty much within a second, correct? Would, you get, would that be fair to say? Yeah. Okay. If I say the number 16, 10 more is 26. And then just subtract 2, so we get 24. If I say the number 24, 10 more is? 34. 34. Subtract 2, and we were going to have 32. 8, 16, 24, 32. We're, we're starting the process. We're on the right path. 42 would be 10 more. Minus 2 is going to give us 40, and so on and so forth, okay? 7s, you do the same process, just subtract 3. But, Mr. Parks, what happens with 12, right? What happens with 12? 12s are harder. Well... If we want to still use 10s, it's not subtracting from 10. What do we have to do in order to make it 12? Add two. Add two. So 10 more than 12 is 22, but this time we're not subtracting. We're adding two to make 24. 10 more than 24 is 34. Plus 2 is going to give us 36. 10 more is 46. Plus 2 is going to be 40. 10 more is 58. Plus 2 is going to give us? 60. 10 more is 70, plus 2 is going to give us 72, and so on and so forth. Use the easier numbers, the ones that you gravitate toward right away, to make the harder ones just as easy. Got it? That's the punchline.